a gas can turn into a liquid, and a liquid can become a solid. And that depends entirely on the kind of substance, the temperature, and the pressure that we have. And this brings us to the field of what we call phase diagrams. And I'll show you your first schematic of a phase diagram, which is also on the web. Here you see a phase diagram, very intuitive. Here's pressure, here's temperature. Imagine that we have a cylinder, and we put gas in that cylinder, and we put a piston on top, and we push it down, slowly pushing it down. So we start here with gas at a particular temperature, which we're not going to change, and we slowly push the piston down. In this trajectory, the ideal gas law would hold. Temperature remains constant, so if you look at the gas law, PV remains constant. That's called Boyle's law, by the way, that the product of pressure and volume remains constant. So the pressure in the gas goes up, the volume goes down, pressure goes up, volume goes down, pressure goes up, until I hit this point. And now, liquid is going to be formed. So the pressure is now high enough at this temperature to form liquid. If I push further, the pressure will not go up. All the gas will first turn into liquid, all of it, until the last molecule. And not until everything has become liquid can I push even further onto the liquid to increase the pressure on the liquid. It may be a silly thing to do, but I could do that. You're not going to compress it very much, but you can try. And in some cases, if you put a tremendous pressure on it, you may turn the liquid into a solid. And then you reach this domain where you have a solid. What is much less intuitive, that if you did it at a lower temperature and you squeeze the volume so that the pressure would go up, that you may now reach the point here in this phase diagram whereby no liquid is formed, no condensation of liquid, but you get immediately the formation of crystals. So you go from the gas phase immediately into the solid phase. If you push further down the piston, the pressure will not go up until all the gas has become solid. And then it will continue to go further. Suppose this were one atmosphere here and I took some ice, or you can take a piece of iron at one atmosphere. And it's a very low temperature, it's a solid. And I start heating it up, but I keep the pressure one atmosphere. It's a solid, it's still a solid. At this point, it begins to melt. This will be the melting point. And when I keep heating it, temperature will not go up until all the solid has been melted into liquid. Then I can increase the temperature. Then the liquid will get hotter until you reach this line. And when you reach this line, some of the liquid will turn into gas. It will boil at one atmosphere. You will see it boil. You cannot increase the temperature. If it is water, it will stay at 100 degrees centigrade. There's nothing you can do until all the liquid has become gas. We call that water vapor. Then, after that, the temperature can be further increased. So this point, point would be a melting point for ice and water, and this would be the boiling point at one atmosphere. So that's the idea behind a phase diagram, and we are going to use them today for some of our experiments.